the difference between an ego and a vulture is appetite. An ego is actually called the old vulture. They are from the same family. So that means they are first cousins. Two of them sleep in the same house. They eat from the same plate. Then they travel together. Is it possible that you could be sleeping in the same house with a vulture? Or you might be the vulture. Let me explain a bit. A vulture does not eat an animal that is strong, weak, that is strong and healthy. It eats animals that are weak, dead, and, and, and that's it. But an eagle doesn't do that. Next slide. There are three types of vultures. There's the white neck vulture. White neck vulture. The white neck vulture has the gift of smell. For five kilometers, it can find food. You don't need to invite a vulture to your ceremony. Just kill a goat. Three minutes, a vulture is there. Do you know some people that when you kill something like that, they appear in your, <laughs> in your house? When you want to celebrate, they just appear. How do they know this? Thing? A white neck vulture, five kilometers. <laughs> it will smell. So I say that those kind of vultures are in marketing department, research and development. They work in R&D and marketing department. Now, those ones, they have the gift of smell. They know that Dangote is open in refinery, so they have gone to market their bank. They've gone to market their bank, research. Then they come and report back in Monday morning meeting. Now, then there's another set of people, the black neck vulture. Those ones, they don't smell. They just sit in the office. They look at wherever the marketers go. They go there. Those ones are in operation and admin department. Operations and admin department. But they can't take any decision because their beaks are not strong enough. They have to wait for the redneck vulture, which is the manager who gives approval. So the redneck manager will give approval. But remember, they don't eat what they kill. They have to wait for it to die. If your dependency is for somebody to give you 2,000 men, to give you salary, to give you money, you are suffering from a vulture mentality. You can be working in a company, but you are thinking like an ego. Uh, let me touch a button here. In Genesis 1.26, the Bible says, And God said, Let us make man in our image. So I'm supposed to be looking like God. So if I look at the mirror, I am looking at God. I resemble God. Fine boy, no pimples without dimples. Nothing to me. I dress like God. If your dressing does not look like what God does, go and change it. Polish your shoes, cut your hair, look good because you are representing God. In short, I asked myself the day I wanted to buy my car. In case God calls me on phone and says, King, pick me up at the airport, I'm coming back by, by 11 o'clock. So I asked myself, what kind of car would I use to go and pick God? A Toyota Starlet, a Kekana, no, no, no. That was what made me buy the Range Rover Vogue. In case God called me. I did not buy the car because I had money. I bought the car because of revelation. <laughs> hey. So I'm supposed to look like God. And the Bible says in his likeness, that is to behave like God. So I'm supposed to look like God and behave like God. Please, can anybody tell me or show me in the Bible where they say and God was an employee of UBA Bank? Our God was never an employee. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, And in the beginning, God created. God is a creator. He created you to create. Yes, you are working for somebody. Study to show. There is a part of your life you must show. You must show yourself. Next slide. An ego kills. Kills. I came here to look for eagles. I came here to raise eagles. I'm tired of people, young men being poor. It's an error under heaven. Bible says princes are trekking, servants are riding on horses. It was not so in the beginning. An enemy has done this. An eagle kills its own. But there, an eagle has a unique mindset. Next slide. It has the potential to live for 70 years. But it will first live for 40 years. It represents elegance, beauty, freedom, power. 
But at the age of 40, he takes a decision. He says, should I live or should I die? If it wants to die, it should just go under the winter. And then his blood will freeze and to go. But if he wants to stay that 30 extra years, what it will do is that it will now decide, this is what I'm going to do. It will take a rich one. It will go up to the highest mountain, hide in the cleft of the rock. And then it will do this. It will break his beak. An eagle lives on flesh. It has to kill. Now it cannot eat anymore because I've broken his beak. It will wait for the beak to come and it will see other people running up and down, eating their own. It will stay like that. When it finishes that, it will now wait and then pluck its talons, every single thing out. Let new ones come out. It will wait, it will watch other people eat. It will only take water and honey. It will wait for the talons to grow back. When it has finished doing this, it will pluck out all its feathers, all. It will take pain and tear it all out. It will wait for new feathers to come out. Its eyes will turn red with anger. It looks at the next goat that's passing. It becomes unleashed to that one. God help that rat. God help that rabbit it goes for. Because there is a sacrifice you need to pay for success. Yes, sir. Uh, pain is the down payment for gain. Next slide. Until you pay the price, you are not qualified to eat the price. Yes, sir. There is no free lunch anywhere. There's no free lunch anywhere. Next slide. There's a country called New Zealand. 43% of the birds cannot fly. 43% of the birds in New Zealand cannot fly. What an irony. So I checked a bit about them. Over the years, over a thousand years, because of one major reason why they don't fly. Next slide. It's because they don't have predators to chase them. Somebody has gotten it. Because they don't have predators. No snake to bite them. No cat to chase them. So they have not exercised their wings over time. And because they've not exercised, they now started building their nest on the ground. Yeah, yeah. So when somebody wants to aspire, they'll say, no, your, house, um, your houses are meant to be on the ground. Poverty is transferred over generation. You are not poor because you are born. You are poor because they transferred poverty to you. Your father did not tell you about money. Nobody told you, so you inherited it. The children of Israel, the Bible said, they desired to eat salad, back, onions and garlic in Egypt when God wanted to tell them to go forward. Hi, thank you for watching this video. I hope it really made a lot of sense to you and I hope it changed the way you were thinking about some things. I would encourage you to please subscribe so that when my new video comes out, you'll be among the first to see it. Don't miss it. And if you have any questions, please endeavor to write your questions on that and at the earliest convenience, I will respond to them. Please don't forget to like. My name is Ubon King and it's a privilege serving you.